Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a 24 hour reading vlog for y'all. So I don't normally post vlogs on my main channel for everybody to see, but I thought this would be a fun idea and I'm trying to fall in love with the content I'm creating more. After this vlog, there may not be a lot of vlogs, if that makes sense. I mainly post vlogs for my channel members because I talk more in depth about my life and I get a little bit more vulnerable about my everyday experience in life and dealing with a chronic illness and all that jazz. I get way more deep into my personal life in my vlogs. And so I kind of like to set that aside for channel members because a lot of those people are like my closest friends. So if you want content like this, if you want to see weekly reading vlogs or vlogs in general for me, be sure to join my channel. There's a join button. If you go on the desktop of your computer, there's a join button on my homepage of my channel. I haven't posted a weekly reading vlog for my members in a couple of weeks because of all the stuff I've been going through, but I'm hoping that a vlog like this will spark my weekly reading vlogs for them. So after this vlog, most of my vlogs will be only for my channel members, again, just because they get a little bit personal. So Anyway, I know I'm all dolled up. My sock curls worked a little too well last night. <laughs> um, they're very poofy. I brushed them out and everything, put product in them, and um, they look nice, but I normally don't like them this tight, and my hair is way longer than this, like it is, and so don't you just love the look of dead hair? Like, <laughs> this is all dead hair. I've gotten my hair cut and colored in a very long time, so... Oops, but I wanted to film some content today. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I also have an unboxing for you. I am now a rep for Hello Lovely Box. Um, if you don't know about Hello Lovely Box, I'm leaving a link to their website down below as well as their Instagram page. It's filled with a bunch of bookish content and bookish related items and exclusive versions of books. And they also make boxes like these that don't really have a lot to do with books, but they're just for fun. So this is their Galentine's Day box. Today's actually Galentine's. It's the 13th, I think that's the day of Galentine's, is the 13th, the day of Valentine's Day. Um, and so sometimes they have boxes like these where um, it's just full of Galentine's related goodness. There's no book in this box. So I'm gonna be opening this in a second. Um, you can use the code AVA15, it's all down below, all the information to get a discount on your order. They have Gianna Darling, a Gianna Darling exclusive box that I am so excited for. So if you wanna pre-order it, you can use the code AVA15 to get some money off. So yeah, I'm going to open this for y'all and see what's inside. Uh, the bow kind of came off while I was picking it up earlier. So it was a pretty bow. Um, and then the little sticker on the top says you are the sweetest. Or it's not a sticker, it's a card. What am I talking about? So let's open this up. So the first thing that I see in here is these chocolates. These are Russell Stover assorted milk and dark chocolates. Very cool. I love the cute little face in there. This looks delicious. This is a hot drink bomb. So like a hot chocolate bomb with raspberry and white chocolate on the inside. And I think this, yeah, I think this is what it's supposed to look like. Like when you put it in there, there's marshmallows and little like edible confetti hearts. That looks so cute. So this is something I adore. So this is happy Valentine's day. Um, and it's a pink scrunchie. If you don't know, I love scrunchies. <laughs> I may wear this later in a video, but like, isn't this so cute? I also got three little Haichu candies too. We have soda pop. Oh, that just fell. <laughs> um, This one is fruit combos. This is a tropical smoothie one. And this is a sweet and sour grapefruit one. I've never had a Haichu before. We'll see if I can eat it. Um, If you don't know, I have celiac disease and I can't have wheat or gluten. So we'll see if I can have those Um, because they look yummy. Ooh, okay, two things. So this is a little notepad that is really cute. It says XOXO at the top. I think they're sticky. No, they're sticky notes, not notepads. Very cute. I love that. I will be using that. And there's this pen that says, be kind. Super cute. Okay, then there's this. I don't know if they're stickers or what. Oh my goodness, I think they are stickers. I love this. <laughs> So they're four little stickers. This, they're like candy, the candy hearts. It says, you are smart, you are lovely, and then you are great. Oh my gosh, I love this. If you don't know, I'm gonna make a video on my other channel very soon 
um, talking about my chronic illness cart. I have an emergency cart or kind of like a bedside cart that I put all of my chronic illness related items in. And I've been putting stickers on the side of them and I feel like these would be like really good. I'm trying to put like inspirational things I can always look at and things that I love like stickers on the cart. And so I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I was gonna make a video very soon like talking about how I organize my cart and what I put on my cart. I think those would be very cute to put on there. And I have, of course, my emotional sport water bottle so I could put it on this too. <laughs> and then the last item in here is this mug. So one side has this book on it and the other side says happily ever after equals me and books. Isn't that so cute? I love this. This is so stinking cute. So if you wanna get a bookish box like this, that's super fun. Um, be sure to go to Hello Lovely Box. I'm linking them down below again, and you can use my code to get some money off. I really recommend pre-ordering their Gianna Darling box if you love Gianna Darling, because I feel like there's gonna be so much exclusive content in there. But there are a bunch of other boxes in there as well as apparel. I have a sweatshirt, a crew neck coming in any day now that I'm ecstatic for <laughs> that I ordered from them um, because it's beautiful, all my friends have it except for me, so I needed to get it. So yeah, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, okay? Um, and so I have a little, some things that I plan on doing today to prepare for Valentine's Day. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't watched my update video for my channel, on um, my chronic illness channel, um, I am with my parents now because I had to leave college due to my chronic illness. I'm gonna create a little bit of a goodie thing for them. I will show you what I have so far. Okay, so I have all the items. So I got three things off of Amazon now. I had to get these things off of Amazon, even though I didn't want to because I am not allowed, I forgot to tell you this, I'm not allowed to drive anymore, according to my doctor. So my parents have to drive me around everywhere because I could have an episode while I drive and that's very dangerous. Um, so I can't go anywhere without them. And so they would see anything that I bought for them. So I just ordered it from Amazon and then hid the package from them. <laughs> um, it's hard to like buy stuff for people you live with, honestly. Um, so this is something, so I, what I'm planning on doing is I got them both a um, a cup or a drink glass of some sort. And then I'm gonna put my favorite candy in there and they love this candy too, um, in there. But like, this is the only like, one of the only bulk candies that I could get that we could all eat um, because I have celiac disease and my mom eats gluten-free too because um, she's the gene carrier for celiac disease. It's genetic, by the way. Um, and so she's sensitive to it, but she's not fully gluten-free like I am. But, okay, so I got this cup for my dad. Um, and this, it's really funny. Okay, it says dad. And this is nutritional facts. Serving size, one amazing dad. Amount per serving, one awesome family. <laughs> um, strength is 1,000%. Humor is 500%. Funny is 100%. Pride is 300%. Wrong answers is 0%, patience is 500%, and caffeine is 110%. I'll link the um, Amazon link down below. I don't get like any money from it or anything. I just, if y'all wanna get these for somebody, who knows? I'll try to remember to link the Amazon link down below that I got these. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on filling this with these candies as well as I'm gonna be making, I think like a, a few other things for them today. I have a Etsy down below if you don't know about that. And I make watercolor bookmarks. Um, I am actually in the process, I'm gonna be working on it today of making some actual graphic design bookmarks, like digital art bookmarks that I will be printing and laminating myself that y'all can purchase. So look forward to that. Um, so not all of them are gonna be watercolor, but I'm gonna be filling this with Reese's and then my mom, I got her a beautiful wine glass. I love this company. It's Lolita, by the way. Um, I've gotten her one of these wine glasses before, but I think I bought it at like Hallmark or something. Isn't this just gorgeous? Some of the glitter is like raised and everything. And oh, I love this. I got her previously, like the other one I have from Lolita is a um, Mother's Day one. So um, this one is just so pretty and I hope she likes it. So then I'm gonna fill these with candy um, and then that will be their Valentine's Day 
gifts. I was planning on reading some today. I'm in the middle of one book. I have a couple of hours left of Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. And this one is an age gap romance where the heroine is older. I think there's an seven year difference between the two. He's like 23, she's 30. Um, and it's like a home improvement kind of deal. And I'm really liking it so far. So I'll be listening that, to that today. And then I do want to read this book. My lovely friend Samantha over at Books with Samantha, she decided to gift me a book, which is super sweet, um, for Valentine's Day. And um, she sent me <laughs> The Phantom of the Opera, um, like the graphic novel form. Oh my gosh. So she hauled this on her Instagram a little bit ago and I commented or like sent her a message saying how beautiful it was. And see, it is very pretty. I love it. Oh, see. Um, and I told her how beautiful it was and that I need to get myself a copy because I adore Phantom of the Opera. Um, my mom adores it. And so I grew up ever since I was a little girl watching that movie. I love that movie. I will rewatch it all the time. One of my bucket list items is to see it on Broadway. So yeah, and um, I think I might just have some fun and read this today or maybe even tomorrow, we will see. Right now I'm going to film a video. I'm going to film my mid-month wrap up because I read quite a few books in the first half of February. So I'm gonna get to filming and I will update y'all later. Hi everyone, it is later, the sun has almost set it is about to be six o'clock and i filmed two videos today i also filmed on top of my mid-month wrap-up a brooding hero video which will be out soon um and then i also helped my parents by cleaning up and tidying up the kitchen because it was kind of a mess and then i also took some you can kind of see the remnants of it back there um some bookstagram pictures of the hello lolly box because it's really cute i need to put my stickers on somewhere. I kind of want to put one on my water bottle right now. I also filmed a few TikToks that I am very happy with. I'm also almost halfway through Tools of Engagement by, by Tessa Bailey. I'm liking it so far. I really love the incorporation of kids in here. Our hero in here, he is 23 and he has been taking care of his younger sister's daughter, so his niece and um or his older sister i don't know it's his sister's kid and um, there's a scene that just happened where like she said i love you to him and he was like telling bethany the hero the heroine like that's the first time anybody has ever said that to me and <laughs> it's so cute i love the scene also because like bethany's not a kid person really but she really takes the time and effort to help his kid like his niece um and there's like a scene where she put on this extravagant tea party for the kid and oh my god it's so cute hi everyone you're currently in my bathroom with me and yes i have a chair in my bathroom <laughs> um only people with pots will understand but um we need chairs everywhere so i have a permanent chair that just sits in front of the sink in my bathroom I also have now have to sit in the shower, so I have a shower chair now. Anyway, I have a headache and I, it might turn into a migraine, which sucks. Um, so I'm gonna take all this makeup off my face and um, go lay down and probably listen to the rest of Tools and Engage. Tool, I can't ever say that word or that title. The right, the right. I can't speak either. I can't ever say the title right the first time. Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey going to listen to this while probably playing some games on my iPad. I also want to mention something that I've been working on all day today. I've been working on two things today. One of them is a secret project that will probably be out by the time you're watching this. Um, but I really wanted to make some apparel for people who have chronic illnesses because we don't really see that all that often and it being cute also. So I made um, this design and the link for it will be in my bio. <laughs> the campaign is only for uh, 14 days, I wanna say. Um, I don't know when this video will be posted, but if you would like one of these shirts, they come in multiple colors and sizes and there's a short sleeve, long sleeve, a hoodie and a crew neck that you can choose from as well. Um, I'm also possibly going to be making them into bookmarks and possibly stickers. I think the bookmark is definitely gonna happen. Um, the sticker, I don't know yet. Um, I have to figure it out because I don't know where to order stickers. I've been working for the past couple days on this and 
it's a big passion project of mine and it's something that I really want like I want to wear something that shows that I am proud of what I've gone through you know and I feel like this design encapsulates that um and so you can order one if you want to I know this isn't for everyone because obviously not a lot of people have chronic illnesses or deal with a disability of some sort but um if you do know people possibly send this to them um maybe they would want it <laughs> um anyway but you don't have to get one obviously um but I think I I mainly made this for myself and my friends because I feel like we we need something to show who we are you know anyway enough of me being sappy I am going to wash my face get ready for bed and go lay down and listen to the rest of my book um I also am about to download Big Bet by Cassie Mint because two people today have recommended this book to me so I feel like that's a sign um Samantha from Books with Samantha and Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings both messaged me about this book today so I need to go download it <laughs> and read it I've read half of the books in this series I think there's eight books in this series and none of them interconnect they're like big boy romances um I've read four out of the eight um and I really like them so I'm gonna download Big Bet listen to more of my audiobook hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow hi everyone it is <clears throat> the next day I am very tired uh mornings are really rough for me with my illness I have the most uh symptoms during the morning I want to say so um it takes a lot of effort for me to get out of bed <laughs> so that's what happened today but I just finished breakfast. Yeah, I'm having it a little late. I normally eat, like, before my whole episode happened. Oop. Heard a dog bark. <laughs> before my whole um, episode happened in January, no matter what, the minute I woke up, I was, like, ravenously hungry and would eat my breakfast right when I woke up. Whereas, like, now I'm not like that ever since everything happened in January. I, like wait at least two hours to eat so like i woke up at 8 30 and it's 10 30 and i just ate so i think my body has like ptsd <laughs> because both episodes that have happened um in the past like two months um i've barfed up my breakfast <laughs> and so um i think like my body's just like let's see how we're feeling this morning every morning before we consume anything because we don't want to puke it up because i have a big fear of barfing finished a book this morning um i started and finished big bet by cassie mint and i loved this one <laughs> it's another one of the books from the big boy series by cassie mint and i loved it this is the second one that i've this is the fifth one i've read and the second one i've given five stars this one is a friends to lovers if you really like hefty by jessa kane read this one it's friends to lovers they've been pining over each other and then the dam like finally breaks and they reveal their feelings and it is so amazing i love romances like that so samantha and rachel i love y'all y'all got me to read this book <laughs> i recommended big boss to them because they haven't both of them had not read big boss yet um so i hope they like that one because that's the other one i gave five stars to i did download another novella because i was feeling like it and it's valentine's day i forgot to say happy valentine's day everybody i downloaded a valentine's related novella i forget the name of it but here's a picture of it it's the novella that takes uh, pl takes place after dipped in holly which i really liked and so i'm gonna read this one possibly and then maybe another cassie mint book who knows i also have an hour left of tools and tools of engagement i can't speak tools of engagement by tessa bailey um that one it's probably gonna be five stars for me because it is so good i love it like our heroine in here i really like her because she her whole life has been uh, her brain has been like trained to be perfect in every single way and if she's not she like breaks out in hives and she gets super anxious and so with her meeting the hero in here she starts to realize that not everything can be perfect and it's not healthy to make sure everything in your life is perfect and she's slowly little by little letting her control ease away and oh i love it i love a person who grows in a romance book i just love it i also really want to read this so i think i'm actually gonna um read this right now um i think i might go sit outside i'm still in my pjs i know but um that's how i feel today i'm not i don't feel like getting all dressed up <laughs> um but i feel like I'm gonna go sit outside 
and read this bad boy. Okay, this might just be a hella lovely gush video because I got my package I ordered from them just now. So I'm gonna show you what I got. First, I wanna show you the kitties. Sorry for the mess, by the way, we're in the middle of cleaning, but look, there's all three of them. Okay, this is Oreo. Say hi, Ori. And Savannah is his other half right here. And then, this is Clifford sleeping on the clean clothes we have yet to fold. Oh, and there's Katniss saying hello. <laughs> and this is Clifford. Say hi, Clifford. Okay, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you can actually remember Clifford. He's down there. Um, but he's the little kitten we saved that was in our garbage at our old house like two years ago in 2020. So yeah, that's the little kitten. We still have him. He's now an indoor cat. Um, he likes going outside, but he prefers the indoors now, which is crazy. Anyway, let's open this package. I'm very excited for this piece of clothing. Again, my coat and everything is down below, but oh, I wanted this so bad. You can probably not see it, but it's this. Historical Romance Readers Club. <laughs> I've seen so many of my friends with this and I needed it. I'm so excited to have this now. Um, um, I need to go wash it first before I wear it. Um, I need to do a load of laundry soon anyway. And then I did finish another book. I finished the graphic novel version of The Phantom of the Opera. I loved it. It was so much fun to read. When I was reading it, I kept thinking about the songs in my head, like the songs would play inside my head and it was super cool. Hi guys. Um, I know this is a little bit of an unconventional ending to this vlog, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not on camera right now because I personally don't feel comfortable at the moment um, with the general public. I'm about to start um, an update video for my channel members, so um, I'm going to be going into more depth on what has happened to me since that last clip uh, with my channel members. Just because, again, I don't want to, I don't want to cry on camera, <laughs> so I'd rather have the very few people who are my channel members watch me cry than thousands of people. <laughs> Um, so yeah, after that last clip, I didn't update you for the rest of the day. I had planned on wrapping up the vlog on February 15th, so the next day, just talking about everything that I read and signing off and all that jazz. But I didn't really do that because I wasn't, I wasn't feeling all that well. And then, um, February 16th, I woke up having another one of my episodes and I was bedridden the entire rest of the day and I fainted one more time that day um so I have not really been my best since today is February 18th so it's been two days since it's all happened I am currently seeing a physical therapist that is helping me a lot since then and then um I also have a bunch of more doctor's appointments scheduled for next week and hopefully we'll get down to the bottom of what has been going on I haven't really updated y'all um <laughs> I do want to mention I have started of House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Maas. I started it on release day. That's the main reason why I didn't update you on the 15th also is because I was binge reading this book and um, I got up to chapter 36 I think and um, went to bed and I the next morning I woke up at 4 a.m. having an episode and I have not read anything since. My brain will not let me read like i cannot read anything i won't be able to listen to an audiobook my brain will not let me and it stinks because i'm watching all of my friends finish this book and being like oh my gosh the ending oh my gosh you're not ready for the ending and i'm like scared now <laughs> but i also don't want to forget what's happened because i have a very horrible memory but i also know that in this state that i'm in currently i won't remember anything anyway if i continue to read or listen so all I've been doing for the past two days is watching, re-watching The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody on Disney Plus. <laughs> Cause um, that's, that's what I've been feeling like doing. My brain doesn't have to work hard and I think that's the issue right now is my brain is working too hard. Um, one of the reasons why we think I fainted for a second time a couple days ago during that whole episode is because I was writing a book review. Um, for one of the books that I read during this vlog and in the middle of me writing it, I passed out. <laughs> and so we think maybe 
me using my brain harder than it should, maybe sparked it, we don't know. We're seeing a neurologist very soon, so. Anyway, I just wanted to pop on here and wrap up this vlog. So, um, don't also don't worry, I'm doing better now and I'm hoping that I can get some answers very soon. I did finish four books during this time. I wasn't able to update you on the end of everything, but um, the two that you already have my in-depth thoughts on is uh, Big Bet by Cassie Mint and The Phantom of the Opera graphic novel. Those two um, I've already talked about in depth. Uh, Phantom of the Opera I gave four stars to. I really loved it. The um, art was beautiful. I think I was just missing some things that were in the play and or musical and the movie that I wish were in the graphic novel so it's not a full five stars for me. Um, but thank you so much Samantha. I love you so much for gifting this to me. It will be forever treasured. And then a big bet. Um, Rachel and Samantha recommended this book to me and I give it five stars. It was amazing and I am so glad they recommended it to me. And then the two other books that I read were Claimed by Cupid by Dana Isley and um, Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. I finished both of these later that day from the last clip. Um, so Claimed by Cupid was really sweet. I gave it four stars. It was hot. It was fun. It's basically Nick and Holly um, after their relationship or after the occurrences that happen in book one, Dipped in Holly. Um, it was super hot, fun. I loved this. It was steamy. Great. And then Tools of Engagement I gave five stars to because it was just amazing. My memory loss is really bad right now and so I don't really remember a lot <laughs> about what happened at the end of that book but um, I do remember loving it and I loved the incorporation of uh, the heroes. I can't, sorry, I can't remember his name. The hero's uh, niece and um, just the growth of Bethany um, and then obviously their relationship together, their romantic relationship was beautiful, amazing. I loved it, five stars. Lastly, I wanna mention, um, hopefully by the time this video goes up, my campaign for my Chronically Courageous campaign <laughs> has uh, launched. I have t-shirts in many different colors. We have long sleeves, we have crew neck sweatshirts and hoodies. Again, don't worry about buying one if you don't need to. Um, this is just really passionate, a passion project for me, um, especially during this time recently. Um, so uh, feel free to get one if you would like. I also have a link down below to the mug campaign. I also made a mug um, if you would like one. And then I also want to mention that I have made new bookmarks as well. I will be putting a few of them up on the screen for you to look at. Um, hopefully by the <laughs> uh, launch of this video, these bookmarks will be out as well. Um, I've been playing around with uh, Canva and Procreate and everything while I've been bedridden, so I decided to make some bookmarks and I think they're really cute and so hopefully y'all do too. They will be printed with this design on front and back and they will also be laminated for you. So yeah, um, my Etsy shop is always linked down below for you to click on. I also have a few other products on there if you would like to look at them as well. Thank y'all so much for being such sweet friends. Uh, most of the videos that you're going to be seeing for the next couple weeks are backlisted videos, uh, videos I've already filmed, edited, and uploaded <laughs> um, because I don't feel like I have enough energy to film at the moment, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go um, chat with some of my friends that have been really sweet to me in the past couple days that I've been able to vent to, um, so thank you so much for my sweet friends for being so amazing and wonderful and supportive and amazing. I really, really appreciate it and um, I'm just trying to stay positive during this very disruptive time. <laughs> but um, thank y'all so much for being amazing people. I love you so much. Mm -hmm.